trouble. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto Market Update. We're having a green day in the cryptocurrency markets today and all coins are starting to have a nice time. We're seeing some all coins show signs of life. Dogecoin is up more than 28% on a daily time frame. All season is already here. We're already seeing Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin already. Bitcoin is still trading around $28,500. Bitcoin is still stuck below $30,000 and we have seen Ethereum for the first time since August of 2022 trade around the $1,900 region. We'll be taking a look at new stories happening in the crypto world. We'll also be looking at sentiments in the market. Should we be buying more altcoins right now? Will all coins be getting ready to get sent to the moon? Bitcoin donors is on its way down. Where are we heading in the coming days and the coming weeks? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So all my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting the channel. If you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Seven. Bitcoin, the king of the market, is still trading below $30,000. Bitcoin has been ranging since February of 2023. Bitcoin started the year trading around $16,000, but Bitcoin has rallied to as high as $28,000. How long will it take us to bust above $30,000? Bitcoin has even gotten to as high as $29,500, but Bitcoin is still finding difficulties rallying above thirty thousand dollars but if you take a look at all coins in the market they're already showing us some signs of life on a daily time frame we're seeing all coins pump to the upside if you go on a weekly time frame it's clearer that all coins are getting ready to get sent to the moon if you take a look at the altcoin market ethereum is still above one thousand eight hundred dollars we saw ethereum getting to as high as one thousand nine hundred dollars for the first time since august of 2022 so maybe just maybe all coins are getting ready for that huge huge final pump to the upside in this bear market rally right now ethereum is just pumping towards two thousand dollars and if we get to that two thousand dollar region hopefully we'll find some resistance there if not we might see ethereum trade even above two thousand dollars in the coming days and in the coming weeks but as you can see ethereum has left this range that we have been consolidating for a while it has broken into higher price but Bitcoin has not been able to do that, so we are officially in altcoin season. Right now, all coins will be pumping to the upside. They're still great in the cryptocurrency market. And anytime there's great in the market, anytime Bitcoin has finished pumping, it will be the time for all coins to show us why they are always volatile to the upside. And so let's not be shocked to see all coins pumping aggressively to the upside in the coming days and in the coming weeks. New stories happening in the crypto world. Bitcoin price bounces after season arrest rumors as traders eye 30 k next. Bitcoin price action performs a classic sweep of the lows with Bitcoin on track to tackle the 30,000 mark again. And Sweet State's bank owns Post Finance over Bitcoin trading. Post Finance parents firm Sweet Post is known for its pro-crypto stance, working on its own cryptocurrency custody services and issuing crypto stamps collectibles if you take a look at other news happening in the crypto world ethereum hit seven months high ahead of shanghai and capella upgrade ethereum has broken the 1900 dollars resistance level for the first time in months and is currently sitting above 1911 dollars the next logical level for ethereum will be heading to that 2000 dollars region can we crack above 2000 dollars guys drop your thoughts in the comment section do you think Ethereum will be pumping towards the Shanghai upgrade or are we going to dump before the upgrade happens? Hong Kong crypto rule sets hard buy for good reason, says CFC advisor. An advisory group member of Hong Kong security regulator says his crypto rules might present short-term challenges to crypto startup. An SEC reaches agreement in principle to resolve insider trading case of Coinbase product manager. Both Ishan and Nahi Wali pleaded guilty to criminal insider trading charges after being arrested by the U.S. authorities in July. An all bridge to first begin repaying stock bridge users after recouping funds. 
the compensation process expected to start next week, starting with users who had phones on the bridge shortly before the shutdown. And the all coins index is telling us right now it's Bitcoin month. In the last 30 days, Bitcoin has been performing better than all coins in the market. Bitcoin is up over 25% in the last one month. A lot of all coins in the market can boost to be pumping that high, even though we still have Casper, Dogecoin, Conflux, XRP. But the rest of the altcoin market is still lagging and Bitcoin is currently up more than 26%. So in the coming days and the coming weeks, we might just see altcoins shooting aggressively to the moon, which will lead us to altcoin month for the second time in this bear market. Texas Senate committee moves forward on bill removing incentives for crypto miners. Under the proposed registration, certain crypto mining firms participated in a program to reduce the load on Texas energy grid will not receive an abatement on state taxes. And if we take a look at Bitcoin dominance in the market, it looks as if we're heading down back to Goblin Town. The last time Bitcoin dominance was in this region, we saw alt season. So will this time be different? Or will everything that's happened the last time Bitcoin dominance started getting towards that 49% region happen again? If we see all season happening, Bitcoin dominance might temporarily pull back towards the 44% region and that might mean all coins might get ready to start getting sent, pumping to higher prices. Crypto could eliminate 97% of traditional remittances fees, that's what Coinbase is saying. United States consumers sending international bank transfer pay more than $12 billion annually in remittance fees alone. And Marathon Digital posts quarterly records of 2,195 Bitcoin mines in Q1. With a new quarterly production record, Marathon Digital is now on track to meet its media target of 23 exahashes. If you take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, Dogecoin has made huge gains in the last 7 days. Dogecoin has seen more than a 27% rise, rising to as high as $0.098. Polygon Matic is conveniently sitting at number 9, Solana is sitting at number 10, BUSD is falling down the ladder, currently at number 12. Bitcoin is still the king of the market, trading above $28,000. Stablecoin issuer Theta access U.S. banking system using Signature. At the time, New York regulators took control of Signature in March. There was reportedly a system in place for Theta clients to send dollars through the bank's Signet platform. Deposit to ZK signed surpasses $100 million as DeFi ecosystem explodes. Crypto traders are actively investing in projects launching on ZK Sync as the hype around the potential governing token airdrop increases. A Fed liquidity injection drives down US Treasury yield, but not Bitcoin price. Regulatory uncertainty and the recent enforcement action taken against major crypto exchanges reduced the odds of Bitcoin breaking above $30,000 in the short term, but investors are still bullish. Bitcoin might have shown strength after successfully defending the $28,000 support amidst unfounded rumors regarding Binance. But interesting development is to note that BTC is becoming less correlated to the traditional market. If you take a look at the altcoin market, total crypto market cap, excluding both Bitcoin and Ethereum, we are still below $400 billion. We got to as high as $412 billion in November before the FTX collapse. So if you see the altcoin market rise in the coming days and the coming weeks, that $420 billion region will be the first line in the sand. And if we can rally above there, we might be going to our August of 2022 price, where the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, had a market cap of $450 billion. The top gainers and the top losers in the last 24 hours in the gainer section, we have Lido Dow, Icon, Rocket Pool, GMX, The Graph, and Fracture. In the loser section, we have Dogecoin, Theta Network, Max Network, Shiba Inu, and Monero. Silo Foundation and Google partners to support sustainable Web3 startups. The collaboration is set to allow founders build on Silo to access credits for Google Cloud and Google Mobile Development Platform. Layer Zero raises $120 million to expand cross-chain messaging efforts. The new funds will be used to increase headcount and expand the cross-chain messaging protocol presence in the Asian Pacific region. And Malaysia enlists China to help and end U.S. dependency for trade. The crypto income index is telling us we have 54 projects with a market cap of over a billion dollars. That number was as low as 39 projects just in December of 2022. The crypto market is gradually recovering after the brutal bear market we're experiencing. So. 
in the coming days and in the coming months, we might see the crypto income index increase significantly, maybe going above the 59 number we got to in August of 2022. Maybe this time we might see almost 60 projects getting a market cap of over a billion dollars. Arbitrum Force spooks the market, but on chain data shows we are accumulating ARB. On chain data and technical analysis shows trends in ARB's price even after a weekend filled with rumors and sell off. Arbitrum suffered a big blow during the first and second weekend of April due to conflicts between Arbitrum token holders and Arbitrum Foundation and the allocation of 750 million Arbitrum tokens worth around $900 million. Crypto exchange backed by 3AC founders launches with claims. OPNX CEO Liz and Lamb says the exchange plans to launch claims trading aimed at helping users from bankrupt crypto trading platforms, including FTX and Celsius. Liquidations are rising in the cryptocurrency market. In the last 24 hours, more than 26,000 traders have been liquidated, the highest liquidation coming on Bybit, where one trader was liquidated for $1.27 million. Total liquidation coming in at a total of $77 million plus. 73% of Q1 rock pools happen on BNB chain. That's what ImmuneFi is saying. Rock pools and other frauds made up small percentages of losses compared to hacks and exploits, the report stated. And Brazil Bank BGT Patra to issue USD stablecoin. The new USD pegged dollar stablecoin aimed to help BTG Patra customers interact between the traditional financial system and the digital economy. And the total crypto market cap is still chilling above $1.1 trillion. We're hitting the top of that range around the $1.18 trillion level we got to in August of 2022. If we see the oil market pumping in the coming days and the coming weeks, we might just be rallying to higher prices, maybe getting to as high as the $1.28 trillion in the coming days and the coming weeks. But that will require us to pump by around 9.8% to the upside. And with all coins, that can happen very, very quickly. A 9.8% pump to the upside might see Bitcoin crack that $30,000 region for the first time since June of 2022. And mid-journey AI users found work around a ban on Chinese president's images. Mid-journey AI bans the creation of Chinese president's images, but users find ways to create deep fake. And Dragonfly Capital invests $10 million in BitGet amidst industry recovery. The exchange currently facilitates cryptocurrency derivative trading with an open interest of $2.4 billion and has plans to expand the spot trading, launchpad, and BitGet in product. That's the news update for the last 24 hours. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember guys, invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video.